Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to episode 2 of the Austro-Hungarian 1890 campaign. This one I'm doing without Admiral's Logs, because it's still a beta version, and I am not really sure how long this one's going to last, so I'm doing it without the Admiral's Logs, because it's going to be hard to wrap a story around it. I'm playing as the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and my biggest contestant is the Italians, which have about twice the number of ships, but... My first engagement was not with the Italians, it was with the British, and I reduced them to a fleet of a mere 30 ships, as I took out 5 out of their 9 heavy cruisers, leading them to only have 4. And that means um, that they might not be as much of a problem anymore in the Mediterranean. Now I am still at war with these guys, I'm at war with the French, with the British, and with the Italians. The Germans, in this case, are my ally. Something else that they have patched is that you used to have this growth, GDP growth, which was the exact same for all nations. And that has been patched. So you can see that the French growth is far better than, for example, the German growth by a factor of two. Hopefully, we're not going to see that weird money bug. Now, time to take out some Italian ships. Sorry, French ships, actually. Here's an Italian encounter, but here's a French encounter. I have two... Uh, sorry, one heavy cruiser and a bunch of light cruisers, which are going to take up a fleet of torpedo boats. Rush in, dump the torpedoes, and eliminate these light cruisers, dealing a big blow to the French. The enemy is to the northwest, so that's where we're going. I'm going to use the heavy cruisers to draw fire as much as I can, while the torpedo boats are the ones that actually do the damage. Let's reorient all of these into better divisions, because right now it's a bit of a mess. I want the... Yeah, you guys, detach. Um, heavy cruisers are fine. These are also going to detach. These are going to detach. The polyp's going to de join the 10. This is going to be a bit of a mess. After sorting out some formations, I now have a connection, or a target, for my first torpedo boat attack. It's one of the light cruiser groups. And this seems to be the trailing light cruiser. Now you can insert your uh, considerations about why the French would be running away. But I'll leave that in your capable hands. As for the rest of the torpedo boats, we're going to make a move. I have resorted these guys into better formations, and hopefully that'll prove effective. Now, I don't really want to be pushing with the torpedo boats into a light cruiser, but fortunately these guys aren't terribly heavily armed. you got the 7-inch guns, 1-5, and a whole bunch of... Well, actually not that many, just 4 3-inch guns on the sides. They only do 20 knots. My ships are 12 knots faster. That can prove to be decisive, because I will rush them and I will eliminate them, especially if they start turning. Especially if they start turning. I'll probably lose a torpedo boat or two while doing it. But these things cost 1.3 million. My ships cost half a million. So if I lose three torpedo boats for every cruiser that they lose. Then I'm still coming out way ahead. This is arguably though not the best way that you want to be doing an attack with torpedo boats. You want to make sure that they get sort of operational cover. In the form of having different ships that draw attention. Like the heavy cruisers. Because what I'm currently doing is extremely risky. And while I might get away with it, by virtue of the AI being at this, well, especially in this era, terribly inaccurate, it's not really the way that you want to be doing these attacks. Uh, also, it looks like the Chasselou over here is not going to get hit by the T10. No, she managed to dodge. Already in turn, the Polyp T8 has also launched, but that probably won't connect either. Now it might. If I get lucky. But sadly for them, I have another tube. E no! Damn it. Okay, eight. Never mind. <laughs> we can pen this cruiser. That's all the more amusing. Ten. Just use your guns. While you're making an exit. You can target that. You can move here. 
you can move here. The heavy cruisers are still way too far away to actually be useful, and the other torpedo boats are going to take their sweet time getting here. So I can potentially take out the Frion using the torpedo launcher on the T-8. While the T-12 is going to take aim at this light cruiser here. Don't avoid anything. The 8 has launched. Frion trying to dodge. Unsuccessfully so. Boom. Hit. You guys have many bulkheads. Just not going to keep them safe. What I'm wondering about is where the hell are their heavy cruisers? Sorry, heavy cruiser. Because it was only one, light, one heavy cruiser and a bunch of lights. Two torpedoes away from the 12. Good luck dodging that. Uh, let's turn you away while you're reloading. Let's have you come back. Let's have you come back. You can join the div of the 10 again. Two torpedoes connected with the Chasselou, causing all sorts of flooding. 12 is going to turn away. And then the 14 is going to come in. You can either finish off the Chasselou or the Friand, depending on what needs killing. How did you get so badly damaged? Oh, you got hit with a friendly 5-inch. No. That was one 2-inch hit? No, I don't believe that. I believe that that ship already took a bunch of damage before this encounter. This is the only possible explanation. Because it doesn't get that badly damaged. Okay, we're going to split the torps. One's going to go to the Friand. One's going to go to the Chasselou. And you're dead. And torpedo tube the other way. Oh, this could be a pretty nice thumbnail. If I get this right. Like that. There we go. Stop speeding through the lines. Friant is down. Oh shit, your other torpedo tube is such a terrible angle. No, it's good enough. Beautiful, beautiful follow-up action there with the T-14. You can join that div. So can you. To break him off, but it'll work. There we go. Good luck patching those holes. Might need something a bit stronger than duct tape to keep that ship together. What? It seems like they have something a bit stronger than duct tape to keep that ship together. It still has 2% buoyancy. Which is just enough to keep it alive. Oh, man. Okay. Chasselou Luba. Built out of sterner stuff. Let's see if the heavy cruisers with our cadets can accidentally... Accidentally hit the target, because it definitely wouldn't be intentional. It's like the Sfax and the Neely were already damaged. It's the only way I can explain the amount of damage that they have taken. It wasn't my doing. Not this time. It means that they're probably not as fast as they normally are. These guys can do 20 knots, but the Neely is doing 16.6 and the Sfax is doing 14.9. So about half speed of the torpedo boats. So we're going to catch up and eliminate. We're going to use the guns, even if they're only two inchers, to deal with these lonely, lonely cruisers. And I'm thinking that they just got left in the breeze by the heavy cruiser. Hung out to dry. I'm not sure why, though. Hello, Sfax. Not getting away. Uh, yeah, torpedo it. We might as well. I need to find a battleship for either the Brits or the Italians or the French. Because I need to kill something a little bigger. That's what these torpedo dudes... Torpedo dudes? Torpedo boats. <laughs> Do best. Okay, here's your last torpedo. Courtesy of the Austro-Hungarians. Bye-bye. Don't avoid, you'll be fine. Alright, who would like to take credit for the kill on the Neely and the Sfax? That'll probably not pen. The other group should also be in a fairly favorable position. Yeah, we can cut off the Sfax with you. Off, H-E, 
Shoot. Oh, you're in so much trouble. Slightly toasty. Not dead. I'm gonna go right at it. Slight angle. Destroyed main gun. Seriously, I'm hitting you with two-inch guns. That's enough to take out your main armament? You, sir, are a disgrace to the French Navy. 18, launch torps. Connected. You're dead. Okay. Cool story. Next. Uh, I'm going to veer you off. The T-10 is going to take the kill. Wow. If it needs to take the kill, because these two inchers are ripping this thing apart. You have armor. Not much. Not on the superstructure, anyway. Which is probably the reason why they're so easy to kill. Tube one away from T-10. Tube two. Boom. Boom. Dead. Okay, last enemy to the west, but I don't think I can catch that. So, one light cruiser survived and one heavy cruiser survived, but they got five victory points. Because they barely did any kind of damage. As I like it. I'm still focused on doing more research. Um, I decided to take propulsion research priority and torpedo tube priority off. So the torpedo tube size is going to be increased in nine months. And for now, I'll not be building any new ships. Because I don't feel like I need any more. Now, let's take on the Italians. They got the Padrona, the uh, Ruggiero, and the Climen, which is a torpedo boat. The heavy cruisers ought to be able to take out the torpedo boat. And otherwise, we'll just have to have a torpedo boat versus torpedo boat clash. Enemy north. Situation's pretty bad for accuracy. See if we can find them. After a lot of searching, the Italians refused to come out and play, which I can imagine, considering that I had the same number of heavy cruisers, but three times the number of torpedo boats. So that one was a draw. Now then, let's continue with the war, do some more research, and see what other ships I can get back online, because part of my fleet is still in a bit of tatters. Um, let's add crew to make sure that crew which got knocked off the ships gets replenished. The Italians continue to build more torpedo boats. Interesting. Tell me more. Convoy. Yours or mine? Mine. Against the Archimede Fiume Generoso Immaculatone Concezione. Sorry, Im Immaculata and the Padrone. I have the heavy cruisers which are not really designed for this task and... Light cruisers. Uh, no. I don't think that that's the best fight that I can take currently. So we're going to skip that. Oh. The French. Again. I only have two torpedo boats. They have three. They have three light cruisers and two heavies. Versus my two heavies, which can take out their lights and their... Maybe their torpedo boats. And these two are going to have to take out the cruisers. Let's do it. Provided we can find them, of course. We can, because we're on top of them. Or close enough. Okay, who's who? You're the light cruiser? That means these big boys are the heavy cruisers. Four funnels, four 9-inch guns, ten 5-inch guns, and two 2-inch two guns. Um, we're going to charge down the heavy cruisers with my heavy cruisers. With the torpedo boats as well, which will be sailing at lower speed. Sort of stay behind the heavy cruisers. And the light cruisers, we're going to turn hard over, smoke up, and present ourselves as a target. While the heavy cruisers shoot these. And ideally eliminate some of them. That is... Oh! Correction, you're the heavy cruiser, you're the light cruiser. I'm going the wrong way. I suppose that those things are as fast as I am. Okay, the light cruisers are turning around. That's good. That means I can immediately charge in. 
There's your torpedo boats. That's the one that the light cruiser should be targeting. The Imprenable is going to be a problem. Because it can very much damage these Shamos, but I don't think I can damage it very well. So no, we're going to pass it, and we're going to go right for the light ships, the torpedo boats. Well, a heavy cruiser here might be able to inflict some damage in tandem with their light uh, escort against these heavies, because these guys have few bulkheads, and they're not that fast. They're still s faster than my ships, though. But under the current pen angle, I have an advantage. And I promptly proceed to ricochet. Okay, I'm going to hand this off to the AI and turn a Torpedo Avoid on. So I'll be focused on this encounter right here. I'm not sure what the French are doing. Because charging into a heavy cruiser that's armed with torpedoes is probably not going to be in your best interests. The thing is, the Emprenable is turning. And she's turning so much so that I don't think I can actually get a torpedo to hit that. Yet. Mm, port side against the Emprenable. Sorry, starboard against Emprenable, port side against Souffre. Let's go. Normal torps. Polyp. We're gonna do an attack. No torps unless otherwise directed. Starboard launcher on Emprenable, which has a rudder damaged issue. Souffre has a bow damage issue, most likely. We'll have one soon. No, she's dodging! Oh, this AI group is so good at dodging torps. More accidentally than anything else, because they just happened to already be turning. I didn't quite keep that in mind. Alright, that means that you're going to have to do the damage. Maybe the stern tube can make something happen here. Another target is for a 900 meter torpedo tube fairly far away. I want you to target that. You're going to have to continue to rush into this guy. Port launcher on the Souffre, if you can. Normal. Missed. Pen. Nice. That was the Emprenable dealing damage to the Souffre, to her sister ship. Who needs enemies when you have friends like this? Speaking of friends like this, this is not a friend. At all. Torpedo away. But Souffre will dodge again. Torpedo in the water. The Linz will eat that. Because I cannot have her turn out of the way in time. Yeah. That's going to hit me right on the stern. Causing a lot of damage, including rudder damage. Shit. Can you please torpedo this one with your stern launcher? Yes, thank you. That's more like it. Torpedo launcher... There's the torp. The light cruisers have decided that this is not a fight that they want. Which I can respect. Oh, these torpedo boats are a problem. Ha ha! <laughs> Heavy cruiser torpedoed the Charcois T-19. Beautiful play. Souffre might... No, will survive that torpedo attack. Starboard torpedo launcher away against Emprenable. This time around, it will hit. And it immediately blocks off the attack from the T-12 because she cannot launch against the Emprenable. Or rather, I'm banking on the fact that she won't. That's your target. Launch if you have a solution. You don't get to launch right now. Should have prepped these before. The T-19 is down. Torpedoes away from the T-19. Their T-19 is down. My T-19 just killed the Souffre. Uh, that's problematic. Hard to port. Don't ram the sinking T-19, please. 
There, T19. T13. Ooh, close call here. Five cruisers, get over here. T19, my side, needs to disengage. T13 needs to come in for the attack. Deal with the French heavy cruiser. Torpedo in the water against the T-19. It could have, have been a better target for me. Because the T-19 is extremely agile and will not be caused or will not be damaged by that attack at all. Okay, you can torpedo this. Drop away one. Drop away two. One will miss, one will not. You're dead. You have torpedoes ready. I don't like that. Are you kidding? There. Light cruisers. Deal with this. Their light cruisers really have decided to just abandon their heavies. And their torpedo boats. Oh, this is going to be problematic. Come on. Sink that thing. Oh, it's targeting a torpedo boat with its... No, not anymore. Ooh. We should be fine. Whereas that torpedo boat is taking a lot of damage. While it has maximum bulkheads, it is not going to be enough to survive. There she goes. Okay. Uh, we know that the light cruisers are mostly gone. At least somewhere off there. One of my heavy cruisers is not doing too hot, but the other one is okay. I just doubt that we'll see them again. Let's see if the T-13 can find them. And the same for the T-19, because I still have torpedo launchers. just need to get these things detected. Get them found. Hey! Interesting. I didn't expect you to actually come back. Okay. Colbert. You must be Seth Myers. No, this is the uh, Iphigenie. And the Duplay. Alright. Have I got a torpedo for you? Turn. Bulkheads. Many. Okay, that warrants the use of two torpedo tubes. Bear the drive-by. And after you've completed your torpedo attack, you're gonna get the hell out. One away. Two away. Off you go. Boom. Okay, we'll just deal with the aftermath of that one later. Ah, uh, never mind. Bear is gone. Doesn't know it yet. Please. Give it a good shove and it'll probably sink. Uh, we're going to go for the Dupli. There's your target. Over pen? What direction am I to tubes looking? Wrong side. Shit. Okay, fine. There's your target, right there. Let's see how quickly I can get those into position. Not fast enough. Reverse. Need to slow this torpedo boat down. This is not good for my engines. But I need to slow down just a few knots to allow the torpedo tubes enough time to get into position and launch. There we go. Now we can go full ahead flank again. The Dupli is going to have issues. Boom. Takes care of that. Vegans, get in here. Why is this cruiser still a fact? Bye bye. <laughs> These torpedo boat attacks. I love doing shit like this. 
With a torpedo boat, with a destroyer, it doesn't matter. As long as it's small and fast, I can most of the time make it work. Torpedo away. That ought to eliminate that ship. Dead. I really wasn't expecting the French to show up again. But hey, if they wanna, it's fine. So the Dupli is gonna be a little difficult to pen with AP. Pretty good chance to hit it though. 29% chance to hit. It's respectable. But again, the target's not moving. And we have a green level of crew, which is already a vast improvement. May have completely forgotten about my light cruisers. Potentially. Ah, uh, where are you going, Eugenie? Out of range. Torpedo boats. I know you don't have any torpedoes. But you got a gun. Make yourself useful. We're gonna target this. Ify Genie. Sadly, she might be too fast. 20 knots. That's what I'm capable of doing. End battle. Yeah, you'd like that. We're not doing that. We're going to take this thing out. Even with a 2-inch gun, we should be able to punch one or two holes into the duplay and make sure that she floods out. Are you coming back? There you are. I wasn't expecting to need the torpedo boats again, but here we are. Flooding? On my bow? That's rich. Huh. Yeah, you can pen the bows. Okay, that's unfortunate. There's your target. Use the two inchers. Your angle of approach is good. Yours is probably not. But if this guy does its job, you won't be needed. I need to come in at a straight or a slight angle, otherwise I won't be able to use more than one of my guns. There we go, that's better. She smokes up. Get right. Speed. Still twenty. Come on. Ten. Ten. Need a few hits, ideally on her stern. Ow. Buoyancy is sticking around 15, 16 percent. HE. More pen. Get in here. Approach from the other side. Still chasing. Good. Keep it up. It's only a matter of time before I get the dupli, because she has nowhere to go. Okay, we're going to switch back to AP. On, a few hits right there, and she's done. Seriously, get it done. Banchan's going up again, or going down again. I really do not want to ram the T-19 into this ship. There she goes, flooding. 10%. 9%, 8, 7, 3, 2, 1, 2, one point eight. please. 
One, two, one. Go on! Sink already! And I give it to the French. This guy is not giving up. Situation here. There you go. Alright. Last man standing. Sailing. Iphigenie is going to be not as fast as she wants to be. She's doing 15.6. Bregens faster. And consistently causing damage to her stern. So let's wrap this guy up. Finish this fight. I think if the light cruisers from the French would have been involved with this fight a bit more and had made an, an honest attempt at taking out my torpedo boats, this would have been a substantially bigger, more difficult fight. Because then I probably would not have been able to catch the light cruiser. And on top of that, my torpedo boats wouldn't have done nearly as much damage against their heavy cruisers. But because the AI sort of decided to split these guys into separate groups, they managed to make it far easier for me. Okay, we're going to launch a torpedo against this guy, which I know will miss. I'm launching it to make sure it turns, which will cause it to lose more speed. Fifteen three still. If you decided to stop firing, overpen. Interestingly, we still haven't seen their battleships. I know they have them. Torpedo away. Here it is. Jeanette is aware. And that torpedo is going to slide right next to the ship. But the ship's doing what I wanted it to, which is turn to starboard. Or turn in any direction. Thereby losing more speed. Now doing 14.6 against the maximum speed of the Bregens. Maximum attainable, that is. No, don't do that. Another torpedo away. And this time, she might not dodge. And it gets her stern, which was already flooded. But we get two extra compartments. Let's go with AP. Start putting some more holes in this ship. Flooding her bow. Slow you down. She's pretty capable of biting back, though. More flooding. Go get her. Go get her. Yes. Ten. Come on. I was really banking on flooding this thing out quite a while ago, but it's proving to be more difficult than I'd expected. Yeah, that's not helpful. Iphigenie is down. Another one of the famous Austro-Hungarian victories over the French Navy. With 20 times the victory points. <laughs> okay, maybe more like 19 times the victory points that the French have acquired. I lost no ships. They lost nine. Sorry, eight of them. Not nine. Eight. So, yeah, this war is going pretty well. Um, I have... What? No. Those victory points are supposed to be mine, my dear French, not yours. Unless the French inflicted a whole bunch of damage against the Germans and thereby got that victory point score, I don't think that this is quite the way that it should be. No. Anyway, there's not a whole lot that I can do about that. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episodes and the fairly long battles. But then again, that's what you normally get when you get the fights of the early times, 1890. Anyway, that'll be it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for more videos.